Manko baby, or that is GHTV channel now. Watch everything that you see here. Like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Oh, subscribe so I bell no on. So I click it so. Send it be anytime he puts a content here. We'll be on the first on your machine. My name is Ian Phyllis, a blogger, TV, radio personality. Or that is GHTV. Keep it locked here. Hello guys, so welcome back to Daily Entertainment Bars right here on Odate GH TV. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon so that anytime you drop a new content, you will be the first to be notified. And also, don't forget to also drop your comments in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and loved ones. So, okay, straight to this bars, we have Stop Accusing My Son of Something He Didn't Do, Kwesiata's Father Speaks Up. Yes, yeah, so father of award-winning rapper Kwesiata, Mr. Samuel Danso Atta, has reacted to rumors that his son has been sexually exploiting women. Yes, yeah, so speaking in an interview with 3FM's Miss G, Mr. Atta disclosed that the accusations leveled against his son are untrue, adding that he sure some people are planning to sabotage him. I haven't even I haven't even seen the face of these women. Anything that is thrown out there, people will be curious to follow. I believe it's coming from a toothless individual. I think it's something that is being cooked by a blogger with the ladies. If it is indeed true, the lady who got pregnant should come out so we all see her face in hotel. Mr. Atta added that the women were foolish enough to open their legs for the men. He has traveled and I'm sure he has returned, but I haven't spoken to him. I am yet to find out from him if this story circulating is true or not. But if you are a woman and decide to open your legs for a man, then you must know it comes with consequences. It's not like taking paracetamol tablets. After enjoying your intercourse, you come and disturb us with this nonsense he established. Okay, guys, listen to Kusiate's father. Through an account on social media, allegedly accused the rapper of impregnating her and asking her to terminate it. The accusations spark mixed conversations on social media, though the rapper is yet to officially respond to the allegation. We are joined on the phone by his father, Samuel Danso Arthur, for a conversation. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you, dear. And I'm sure by now you have seen and unseen uh, a lot of messages uh, on social media concerning your son. Thank you. Yes, good afternoon. First of all, good afternoon to your listeners. I took my time to follow the trend online last night. I've been following and also following the comments that have been trickling in. And as a parent point of view, I'm not I'm not disturbed. I'm not moved. You're That's the little that I want to say. You're not moved that uh, people are someone is alleging that your son has impregnated them and has asked them uh, to terminate the uh, pregnancy, and it's all over social media. Yeah, being a parent, being a parent, if it is true, then I sympathize with those ladies. But I think I have a little advice for some of these young ones. You know. If you want to have intercourse with a young man, you must know the consequences that goes with. And also, I don't know whether this is really true because I haven't even seen the face of the lady in question. So for me to defend it would be very difficult. No, but have you spoken to your son concerning this? Uh, is he saying anything about it? Does he know any lady? Has he impregnated anyone? I haven't. Actually, he traveled. And I'm sure he has returned, but I haven't even seen him. And I am speaking as a parent point of view. Actually, I am yet to find out from him whether the story that is circulating is true or it is not true i am yet to find out from him you don't consider it as a very urgent situation that you need to even reach out to him even if it's by phone or by text or anything you don't consider it as one i will take the opportunity to do that within a day if it, because what i'm asking is whether you, 
people are wondering whether Kwesi is okay because he was trending on Twitter. And as a parent, we thought that because of that, maybe you would have reached out to him and said, are you okay? Is everything okay with you with all that is going on around you? You haven't done that as well? You know, with your modern trend of communication, anything that anybody throws out there, people will be curious enough to follow. Some can be true, some cannot. So it's not anything that being thrown out there that you need to be so curious to follow. I have gone through it. As a parent, I've gone through it. I've been reading the story, but it is, it is something that I think it is coming from a faceless someone. So you believe, you believe it's, it's, it's a cook story, it's not true? That, that, is, that is what I strongly believe. I think, I think, I think maybe it is something that is being cooked by a blogger with the lady in question. So I'm looking forward, if it is true, I'm looking forward for the lady to come out for all of us to see her face and confirm whether what she's saying is true or it is not true. And also, if she's saying that she, some of the ladies have been confessing that he's been pushing them to terminate pregnancy. I think it would be very bad. The ladies, they have their own sense of judgment. If you're a woman and you have a seed with a man, what stops you from giving birth? Nothing stops well, you from giving birth. if the father of the child doesn't want it, maybe she doesn't want to go through the struggles alone. I know how, I know how women love their firstborn. I know how women love their first bonds. But I'm sounding this as a, as a note of caution to the young ones who are coming up. Sex is not for fun. Sex is not for fun. Sex is serious business. Sex after sex comes with several challenges. It, it, does it so sound like a conversation that you've had with your son as well, that sex is not for fun, just in Hello. case... Yes. Hello, dear. Yes, sir. I, I, I wish you would listen to me. All right. If you're a woman and you decide to open your leg for a man to have intercourse with you, then you must know that it comes with consequences. It is not for fun. And having sex is not that... It's not like taking paracetamol syrup or paracetamol tablets. It's a serious business. And young ladies of today must see of seeing sex as fun. Sex is not for fun. Sex is serious business. It goes both spiritual and physical. You see? So mm -hmm. I think I am using this as a parent to sound a note of caution to the younger ones who are coming up. They should not see sex as taking paracetamol tablets <laughs> or, or taking both fruit and porridge. <laughs> Mr. Yes. Danzo, Mr. Hello, Mr. Dear. Arthur, you know, Hello. someone will say you, you're focusing on the women. It sounds as though you're being biased no, as a protective father. I am father. cutting both. Mm -hmm. I am cutting both. It takes two to tango. Hello, dear. I can hear you. It takes two to tango. Was it a rape? Can I ask? She hasn't said anything of sort. Very good. It wasn't a rape. Then it means there was understanding between the two. She agreed to open her legs. If it is true, the girl in question, I haven't seen the face of the girl, but that particular girl in question, she agreed to remove her pants and open her legs for him to have intercourse with her. You understand me? I understand you, but I'm and not sure. Uh, after mm -hmm. enjoying your intercourse, you come and disturb us for this kind of nuisance. No, young girls of today, young men of today must be responsible. Sex goes with responsibility. So if you are able to remove your boxer and have intercourse with a young lady, you must know the end result comes with something. Young girls, young uh, men of today must sit up. I am sounding this as an advice to both the, the men and the women. 
You understand me? I understand you, Mr. Danso. They, shouldn't, they should never see it as fun. So if you're a young woman and you begin to throw this out there for public consumption, I think you are tarnishing the image of your family and also your image. And I wish I would see the face of that beautiful young lady. All right. So let's say this young lady appears uh, today, tomorrow, and she says, yes, I'm owning up to it. Uh, Kwesiatha impregnated me. Is the family ready to receive her? I will be so excited to see the face of that young lady. And if indeed she is still pregnant, I will tell her not to abort that pregnancy, but rather bring the child. Does this also bring to fore a conversation maybe you must have with your son? Uh, about no, I, I, I have already confirmed to you that I haven't had the No, I'm saying that based on this, if, if he's engaged with women sexually, does it bring to fore a conversation you must have with him, just like you're sending caution to women out there? Does it also draw your attention that maybe you need to sit Kwesi Atha down for a conversation with regards to women and fame? You know... As a young man, when he's going out there, I am not with him, you know. That's true. Very good. He is a young man who is exploring the world. He is moving out there with all the youthful exuberance. And I'm an old man enjoying myself in my own small corner. So when he goes out there, the only advice a parent can give to a ward is be very careful. I think I've I've mentioned this to you before. Hello. That's true. That's true. I've mentioned this to you before. I always prompt him to be very careful and also protect the name of the family. I always caution him as a parent. I am not happy that these stories are trending, but I don't know how true the story is. So as a parent, if that lady is listening to me right now, I wish She'll be bold enough to approach me that that I am carrying Chris's child. I'll give her a seat and brainstorm with her. But if such thing hasn't occurred, then I don't see the head and tail of such a story. Thank you very much, Mr. Samuel Danso Arthur, for speaking to us. And you heard father of Kwesi Arthur, who led the trends on Tuesday uh, uh, for claims that he had impregnated some young lady and has asked her to terminate the pregnancy. Okay, guys, what do you think about this issue? Can you drop your comment in the comment section below? Let's get interactive in there. And also, don't forget to also subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.